Boy, carving out time. Yep. I mean, this is such a huge thing. Trying Everybody to find can relate time to this. Together. In fact, not just us. I mean, we feel it, but the couples that we work with tell us this is actually one of their top struggles, oh, trying to find absolutely. time together. When you have kids, right. when you're parents, because exactly. you have attention. You know that your kids want to be with you. They need that time with you. Yeah. You want to be with them. In fact, I can think of a mom recently who said, my children would literally take every minute of my day right. legitimately right. if I gave it to them. Right, playing games right. and whatever. Whatever I mean, they need. They just feed yeah. on that. But uh, there comes a point in a relationship, in yeah. a marriage relationship, where you've got to say, okay, you know, that's the parent, that's mommy, daddy time, now it's yeah. husband, wife time. Yeah, and, and, and to bolster this effort, it helps you remember the, the best gift you can ever give your children is the confidence that, that you have a solid marriage relationship. Right, right. And the that fact that we and that love each other. That requires time away from them so you yeah. can work on this. Because, so how do you I find mean, it? How do you find this kind of time? Exactly. Well, one of the things is to kind of reevaluate your life and look for the time that you and kind of recapture the time you've been missing out on that's there you just haven't taken full advantage right, of it absolutely and you know that's why we wrote this book your time starved marriage yep and one of the things that you'll find with this book the two workbooks his and her workbooks is there's an exercise early on in there that'll help mm -hmm. you kind of determine how you are spending your time right now what you will find is you're leaving time on the table that you could have had together even just little snippets of time like you know right before bed or right. when you first greet each other at the end of the day or right. even a shared meal even if it's just one time a week where we're really fully present over that dinner hour and we also show you in the book how to resolve some issues that are eating up your time that they don't need yeah. they don't deserve that kind of time reclaim that time for the two of you right well and then of course there's the old and fashioned, the practical date night idea that's what i, I mean, was getting at the old-fashioned suggestion of carving out a date on that calendar right. that you can look forward to, you can anticipate, you can count on it. At an interval year grand, it's not even realistic for us to do that once a week, but we still have it as a goal, and so we've set it as a goal to trade out with another couple. We'll take right. their kids for one date night a month, and, and they'll do the same for us. And even so it doesn't that, cost you for babysitting. Exactly. It's even with that, it's do. a challenge. Even yeah. when we're totally committed to it and have a system in place it's a yeah. challenge but it's worth it there's no way to keep your connection without right. it well there's a few suggestions <laughs> that can uh, hopefully help you find time in your time-starved marriage yep.